It's a terrible thing. Uh, what uh, what I'm witnessing is terrible. And frankly, that the uh, the mayor or whoever it is that's allowing people to uh, riot and loot and not stop them is also just a horrible thing. Uh, I saw the event. Everybody did. It was on television. It was a terrible event. Uh, I guess that's being looked at very strongly. We have federal. The federal government is looking at it also. But the rioting in Philadelphia, you have to stop it. They have to stop it. It's a, uh, it's a local thing, as you know. We're not we, — we don't send unless we're asked. If they ask, if they ask for help, we'll be there very quickly. But they should bring in their National Guard if the police need help, and they should do something. You can't let that go on. Again, a Democrat-run state, a Democrat-run city, Philadelphia. We don't have that. We don't have it. The Republicans don't have it. And you'll have more and more of that. And you're going to have it, and you're going to have it strongly. You, gotta, you can't let that happen. You mean the federal government is looking at the shooting, sir? Is that what you're We're looking at the shooting, yes. We're looking at the shooting. And if asked to go in and help, we will do that. We have to be asked, as you know, by the governor. Uh, they should be able to handle it themselves. The police, I know the police very well in Philadelphia. I think they gave me an endorsement. And uh, they're not allowed. They were told, I understand, to stand back to stand back, don't do anything. And people are breaking into stores and walking out with washing machines and walking out with all sorts of things. And it shouldn't be allowed. That's no way to do it. You've got to have law and order. You've got to have respect for our police. They, the police were told to stand back. Now, maybe that's not so, but that's what I was told upon very good authority. You can't allow that to happen. Uh, we're watching it very closely, and we're waiting for a call. If they want help, we're there. We'll be in there within one hour. We're ready to go within one hour. Yeah, please. Can I just follow on that? Um, former Vice President has uh, condemned the rioting, uh, but he's also saying if, if he's elected uh, President, uh, that he will push for a commission uh, to look into how do you go about diminishing these types of situations with uh, mental health situations, crises. Do you have any response to that? And, and yeah, uh, sure, sure. The former Vice President has been doing this for 47 years. He's been doing it badly. This is a group that he supports. He doesn't want to condemn them. I saw that. He doesn't want to condemn them. You have to condemn. You have to be strong. You can't have chaos like that. And he'll be very, very weak. He hasn't gotten, to the best of my knowledge, any endorsements, or certainly if he has, it's very few. I've gotten almost every law enforcement endorsement in the nation. Texas, Florida, Louisiana, um, Oklahoma, Ohio, almost everyone in the nation. I think we might have even gotten Pennsylvania, which is great. But they have to, they have to be able to do something about it. The problem with Joe, Joe's all talk and no action. you got to have some action. You can't let that happen. I went to school in that city. I love the city of Philadelphia. You can't let that happen to a wonderful place like Philadelphia. You can't let it happen.